Okay, good day students, and how are you doing? You're welcome to another class in the class of economics. Last class, I introduced to you the topic national income. Today, I'm taking a step further on the topic. And what are we looking at today? We are looking at theory of income determination. Theory of income determination is what we are considering today. And let us look at our objectives for today. We are looking at circular flow of income. We are looking at the limitations of the uses of national income. We are looking at determinants of national income, considering sources of national income statistics. Now, what is called circular flow? Look at the term, circular. So it's always in circular form. That means we are considering different sectors in the economy. But in this case, we are only considering two sectors because of the volume of all the sectors in the economy. But we are looking at the two major sectors in the economy, which are the household sector and the firms, or let me call it business sectors. Now, what is called circular flow of income? This is a constant flow of input and output, also income among the different sectors of the economy. That means, I believe, your parents at home, they are working somewhere. And in return, they are giving something back to where they are working. That means, as they are working, they are receiving salary. And in return, they are paying their bills, which goes to where? To the industry, to the uh, productive industries. Now, we are looking at the circular flow now. Look at the income charts. Now, look at household sector here. Then we have business sector. Now, if you look at the arrow, I need you to look at the pointing arrow. You will see that household sector is supplying inputs or factors to business sector. What are factors? Labor, capital, entrepreneur. They are all given by household sector to business sector. Now, what is business sector giving back in return? They supply goods and services. Now, I'm taking you down to the payment uh, line now. What is business sector giving to household sector? They pay wages, salaries to our parents, to you, to myself. And what do we give back? We pay for the goods and services that they render to us. Now, we are moving to the next objective. Limitations of the uses of national income. What are the limitations? What are the shortcomings of national income? Number one, they do not reveal the income distribution in a country. That means income are not properly distributed. They are not evenly distributed. And they are not looking into this. Now, there are differences in the internal value of money. For instance, Naira is different from dollar. We cannot compare the economy of Nigeria with the United States because our economy, the value of our currency is different from the value of the currency in America. Now, there are changes in the value of money. Our value of money is not stable. It's unstable. It changes always. Now, there are differences in working conditions and opportunity, opportunity cost of output. Now, we have different working conditions. Some works are what? They are palatable, some are not palatable. Now, opportunity cost is considered here. That means one is preferred to the other. And the structure of production. In Nigeria, we are conversant with what kind of production? The primary production. We are conversant with the elementary stage of production, not with secondary non tertiary. Now, we are looking at ways of measuring national income. How do we measure national income? We use foreign trade figures. We get our data from foreign trade figures. We just look at the payroll of various establishments, ministries, offices. We look at the payrolls. Don't forget, we call something voucher, where the payment of uh, salaries are arranged. We look at all this in order to calculate our national income. Now, we look at income tax returns. Now, what is government realizing from the export and import? We look at that as well. Then we look at economic survey of the country. Now, determinant of national income, how do we determine it? 
We determine through productive inputs. Your natural income of your country will be determined by productive input. How do you process your production? Are you still working on the old method or you are advancing in technology or you are going to another level? Technical knowledge of your expatriates will as well determine your level of national income. Now, political and social stability. Is the political scene in your country, is it stable or unstable? That will determine your national income. The level of infrastructural development, good drones, pipe water, and all that factor of in, factors that necessitate production, they must be put into consideration. Government economic policies. The economic policies in your country, are they favorable for production? This will determine your national income. Then the general working condition. Thank you very much. Now, I want you to check the first and second attached documents on your Google documents and use them to answer your clusters and your assignment. Thank you very much. Please stay safe. God bless.